In this video, you'll learn how to enroll fingerprint biometrics with 2FA1. Since you haven't used the system before, you must log on with your username and password and open up the 2FA1 client. In this case, I have the UAC enabled, so I'm going to go ahead and allow. Since I haven't created an account in 2FA1, and for this case I'm doing a standalone enrollment, which is really ideal for proof of concepts or pilots, but not necessarily ideal for production environments. I'm going to go ahead and create my local account. I'm going to enter in my Windows or Active Directory password, and I'll be presented with the enrollment wizard. In this case, I'm only going to enroll for fingerprint biometrics, so I'm going to go ahead and click on fingerprint biometrics. And I'm going to be asked to enter in my Windows or Active Directory password and confirm. Next, I'm going to be presented with the fingerprints that I'd like to enroll. With 2FA1, you must enroll a minimum of three fingerprints. Go ahead and click on the fingerprint that you'd like to enroll. I'm going to go ahead and swipe my finger on the reader here. In the majority of cases, you need to swipe or touch the reader three to four times. Once successful, go ahead and click Next and select the second finger which you'd like to enroll. And continue the process as previously done. Swipe your finger three to four times. And select the last finger. 2FA1 supports a number of different fingerprint sensors. In this case, I'm using a swipe sensor, the USB connected. I can use swipe sensors that are embedded in Panasonic, or Dell, GTAC, Fujitsu, and a number of other uh, embedded fingerprint uh, sensors. I can also use fingerprint sensors from Digital Persona and from Lumidime. For a complete list of fingerprint sensors, uh, either call 2FA Sales or look in the 2FA1 Client Administrator Guide. Now that I've enrolled three fingerprints, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And I need to select a PIN. With 2FA1, you can either choose to use a PIN or not use a PIN when you're logging on. But in all cases, you need to select a PIN. The PIN does have different policies. By default, you need to create a six character PIN or greater. I'm gonna go ahead and create an eight character PIN. And if you have uh, different policies that you'd like to apply for PIN, uh, you can do that in the system settings and PIN policy. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And I'm all done, so I'm gonna hit save here. And it's going to inform me that I need to go ahead and log off. Now, since I enrolled with a PIN, I'm going to go ahead and swipe one of the fingerprints that I enrolled. And you'll see once the fingerprint's detected that it asks you for your PIN. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my PIN. And you'll see that I'm logged on. 